Hello everyone and welcome to a new IK video. This is Ken from 49 and in this video I want to talk about the Illusion Battlefield settings because I have a lot of friends in server 205 and today is their first, the very first IP that they will ever have. So uh, a lot of them asked me to make a video about the Illusion Battlefield settings even though they won't make it in time to watch this video. I I think I still need to talk about it because a lot of people are being introduced to the Illusion Battlefield without any idea about what they need to do here. So I want to start with troops allocation. Uh, basically you get the same capacity of your training ground uh, when it comes to the, the amount of troops that you can bring to the Illusion Battlefield. However, in Prime League, which in in this case here, everyone gets a fixed amount of 500,000. However, in normal leagues, you can bring the entire training ground size with you. And it could be increased by either upgrading your training ground or upgrading the million here is research in here. This one here. You can get up to an increase of 30% in the training ground capacity. For myself here, I make sure that I'm using two type of troops in the front line. Uh, for my case here, I'm using only Cavalrys and Shieldmen, which is Hippolyte and William. Same here for my Wine March, Cavalry and Shieldmen. Same for my other marches as well. Uh, because it makes it less complicated to select the troops that I want. And I end up being... Uh, with Shieldmen, Cavalry, and Boomen, that these are all the troops that I want in my mod. So for the amount of troops that I get, I usually get 25% Shieldmen, which in this case is gonna be around 125. Uh, I need also 25% Cavalry, which is gonna be the same amount, and the rest goes to the Bowmen, which is gonna be 50% of the training ground. Well, I usually get more cavalrys because somehow I end up running out of cavalrys most of the fight. This is a, just a personal preference. So this is for the troops allocation. I make sure that I'm using only two type of troops in the front line, which in my case Sheldon and cavalry. And since there is always two kind of immortals, uh, two bowmen leaders in the back line, you're gonna end up with more bowmen. Uh, for the settings, for the rules that you can use, there's the offensive, the defensive, and support. Well, defensive is the most used one because it's going to save you a lot of healing speedups if you cannot afford them. However, offensive is still the most influencing one or the most impactful one when it comes to fighting. So each of these skills has, if each of these rules have four skills. For offensive here, there is the hold fast. This one here reduces all the damage received by 10%. It could be very effective in winning fights. Uh, there is the comrades here that I don't really like because it could be used just once. And it occurs whenever your starter rally increases the damage of all the rallied units or the rally troops by 5%. However, you can use it just once and you know that one rally is not going to is, is not never gonna win you the battle. However, the grievous wounds here increases the number of enemy wounded troops by 10%, and it lasts for five minutes, and you can use it every five minutes, which means that if you have enough points, you can perma use the grievous wound. Uh, the teleport here goes for 2,000 points. You can use it just once every 30 minutes. However, it gives you a free territorial teleport that could be used within 5 minutes once you activate the skill. And it is so important because it could change the battlefield, the entire battlefield, if it was used in the right time. Uh, the defensive here, which is my favorite, uh, because it, it, it has healing skill that could be used every 10 minutes and instantly heal 30% of the wounded troops in the hospital. Uh, there is also the sturdy that instantly recover 10% prosperity so this could be a clutch if you're about to get teleported however if you increase this 10% it could give you enough time or enough window to receive some backup 
or some garrisoning units from your alliance and it could help you to keep fighting same for this one here it gives you a bubble or a shield that lasts one minute that could buy you enough time for your backup or your alliance mates to arrive and help you to win the battle and it's gonna keep you in the battlefield as well uh, the strongest one in this list which is resurrection so if your prosperity is decreased to zero which means that if you got zero uh, that means that you will stay in your spot you're instantly uh, replenish all your prosperity and also it will heal 50% of the troops in your hospital it is basically a resurrection it's gonna bring you back to the battlefield with a full prosperity and a 50% healed troops in your hospital uh, there is the support role which is very important however it's not being used as much as defensive or offensive uh, because it is a support I mean just one guy on each tower will be enough uh, there is the quick occupy which is gonna help you to take the towers faster uh, if you got one unit inside the tower it increases your building occupation speed by one point per second and it could stack with the other alliance members with a maximum of six points per second so make sure to use this in the right time while occupying a tower uh, there's the good fortune which which is working in an awkward way because it has a 20% chance that will not generate uh, wounded troops whenever your garrison in your territory are defeated so whenever you receive an attack and you got defeated there is a 20% chance that you will not generate wounded troops and it goes for 500 points it works for 5 minutes however it's still a 20% chance so I don't really like it however there is the sudden assault this one here could be very helpful because whenever you attack uh, an enemy troops inside a building which means inside a tower there is a 10% chance of reducing their occupation progress by 10 points uh, this is gonna be very helpful while defending or guarding a tower because you could buy enough time while your alliance mates arrive or while you uh, receive the backup needed to keep securing or keep fighting for the tower so sudden assault is very important while guarding towers or trying to occupy towers from the enemy I mean this is for occupying towers from the enemy and this is for guarding or securing towers uh, there is the ambush which is pretty much like a, ter a territorial teleport uh, because it increases your marching speed for by 80% and it reduces the relocation construction time to one second uh, not sure if it was blocked that means that you're gonna lose it or how exactly it works because I've never used it so if any one of you guys use it and knows how exactly it works please let me know however it could be very helpful because uh, it could change the tide of the battles as well because sometimes you need to relocate between towers very quickly and this could be very helpful even though teleport could be way uh, better however the other support skills in this rule here could be helpful as well uh, so this is for the rules that you can use in the illusion battlefield and this is for the troops allocation that you can use as well uh, I just wanted to make this a quick video talking about the illusion battlefield for beginners so this will be all for this video guys uh, if you have any comment let me know if you have any suggestions also let me know down below in the comments uh, thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel and have a good one